I think it's time to finish this. Let's call it a day. Hello, my name is Kent Honda, and I'm 27 years old. A year ago, I decided to quit my job as an office worker and started working as a freelance IT engineer. I'm currently living alone at a nearby apartment since I decided to leave my family's home to pursue my new career. Huh? It's for my elder sister. I wonder what she's up to. Yeah, hello? It's me. Kent, you forgot to pick up Mary, didn't you? What? Of course not! I'm going to pick her up now. Really? You said the same thing last week when you forgot to pick her up. Listen to me. Last week was a different case. I had an urgent task to finish at that time. If that's the case, you could have at least given me a call to let me know about that. Well, if you're on your way to pick her up now, off you go then. Okay, I got it. Gosh, I think you worry too much, sis. My elder sister, who's a single mother, is living with my parents. Since I'm working from home, my sister often asks me to pick her daughter up from the swimming school since she's often very busy too. Honestly speaking, I don't mind doing that at all. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, Ken! Thanks for picking Mary up as always. Her smile is so beautiful that I feel as if I were talking to an angel. She is the reason why I don't mind picking my niece up from the swimming school. Her name is Luna Onodera. She's three years younger than me and she's a swimming teacher. Whenever I see her, all I can see is a beautiful woman. She has such a nice body and a very pretty face. I have no doubt that every straight man will definitely fall in love with her. Ouch, that hurts! Uncle Ken, I know you're in love with Luna, but you're staring at her too much. Stop that, it's weird. Mary, I've told you that you need to keep it a secret, haven't I? <laughs> You guys sure get along well with each other, don't you? It's not like that anyway, we just like to joke around with each other. I do admit that I'm in love with Luna, but I'm just too scared to confess my love to her since she might already be in a relationship. That's why I've kept locking my feelings towards her all to myself. But I just can't take it any longer. I really need to let her know how I feel about her. I don't care if she refuses me. I'll definitely have better luck next time and find another girl to fall in love with. I just need to challenge myself by doing what I'm supposed to do right now, so I won't end up regretting in vain. Uh, excuse me, I want to ask you something, Luna. Yes? What is it? Do your best, Uncle Ken! I'm counting on you! Uh, um, you might think Mary was just joking about my feelings towards you, but actually, she's telling the truth. What? Are you serious about that? Yes, I am. I've been in love with you since the very first time I saw you. If you don't mind, would you be my girlfriend? I managed to say that loud and clear at last! I was preparing myself to hear a refusal from her, but the words that came out from her were beyond my expectation. Um, well, I'm glad to hear that from you, but you're not allowed to cheat when you're in a relationship. I beg your pardon? You are a very charming person, Ken, but unfortunately, you already have a wife and daughter. You can't just say that you're going to cheat right in front of Mary. A wife? Cheat? I wonder what she's talking about. I think you misunderstood me, Luna. What do you mean? I'm not married and I don't even have a girlfriend. What? Then what about Mary? Isn't she your daughter? She's actually my elder sister's daughter. Since we do share the same family name, you probably misunderstood me. My elder sister is divorced, and since she's always busy with taking care of the household chores and going part-time job, she asked me to pick up Mary on her behalf. He's right! Uncle Kent is mommy's younger brother. I mean, her slave. I'm not my elder sister's slave! Jeez, I wonder who taught Mary that word. Uh-oh, I see. Sorry that I misunderstood you. N no worries. It's my fault since I didn't give enough explanation. By the way, Luna, what is it, Mary? He may look like an ordinary guy, but you know what? He's a rich man. What? Goodness gracious. I don't think Mary should have said that. He always has a lot of thousand yen notes inside his wallet. Also, he's doing fragrance and earns 90,000 yen every month. Please be quiet, Mary. Moreover, it's freelance, not fragrance. I'm not selling perfume nor air fresheners. Luna, I think Uncle Ken is a suitable person for you. 
I'm not really sure about that anyway. To be fair, I'm not a good-looking guy, but if I don't have any money, it'll turn into a bigger problem before dating. I heard that the reason I was rejected before was due to a misunderstanding, and I thought I had a chance with that girl, but it was just too hard for me to accept the fact. Well, I was being honest with her, so I have no regrets. <laughs> You're such an interesting person, Ken. What did you say? <laughs> well then, it's kind of awkward to just start a relationship, so why don't we go on a date next time? Uh, are you sure about that? For your information, I'm not a rich man. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or not. So, what do you think about going out together? Of course I don't mind at all. I'm really happy to do that. We have a deal then. I look forward to it. So miraculously, the date was set on my next day off. I was waiting for Luna at the meeting place, the fountain square in front of the station. Am I too early? Frankly speaking, it's my first time going on a date, so I hope it goes well. Looking back on my school days, I must say that most of my memories back then were pretty sad. I just don't know how to interact with girls. I really don't want to screw up something I can't take back this time. I've prepared myself for this yesterday, and Mary has also given me some advice, so I should be fine. Ken! Sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, hi Luna. I just arrived, so don't worry about that. Is there anything wrong? No, not at all. It's just... Her casual clothing are so cute. You don't like my clothes? I just bought them for today's occasion since I was so excited. No, I love your clothes, and I think they suit you very well. Uh, oh, I see. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Excuse me. Please don't forget about me. I didn't forget about you, Mary. Don't worry about that. Mary? Why on earth are you here? My mom told me to watch over you and make sure you don't ruin the date. I'm sure that I'll complain to my older sister after I finish today's occasion. I'm really sorry for what my older sister did to us. It's not your fault. Moreover, since Mary is here, we can have more fun with all three of us together. She's right. Let's get going then. I wish Mary wasn't here since I wanted to spend today alone with Luna. I was afraid that the extra help from my sister would ruin the plan. But surprisingly, it wasn't. Hello there. Oh, hello, sweetheart. You're such a cute little girl. Are you going out with your mommy and daddy? Mommy and daddy? So that's how people see us. Yes, you're correct. I didn't expect Mary could just tell a lie like that. What a lovely family. I hope all of you have a nice day. Looks like that lady misunderstood us as a family. Yeah, I think so. I wonder if we will do a similar thing if I get married to you. Oh, I'm just joking about that. Never mind. <laughs> what? I wonder why she said such a thing. She just made me more nervous. Luna! Uncle Ken! Hurry up! Wait, Mary! Why am I so bothered right now? I shouldn't have taken her joke seriously. Wow! The aquarium is awesome! Is this your first time visiting the aquarium, Mary? I think Mary was just three years old when my older sister took her to the aquarium for the first time. I don't remember anything about that. Well, why don't we take a picture here? To celebrate our visit to the aquarium. That's a good idea. Let's have someone to take it for us. Why are you not joining us, Uncle Ken? If I do that, no one's gonna take a picture for us. No! You must join us, Ken. Well, uh, let me do that then. No, Luna! You will be the one missing in the picture if you do that. What should we do then? If you don't mind, I can take a picture of all of you. Oh, how very nice of you. No worries. Well then. Perhaps it was Marie's presence that made me feel less nervous during today's date. The sun was setting as I was imagining the kind of days that would await us if me and Luna were to become a family. Mm, wait for me, Luna. <laughs> Looks like she's sleeping well. <laughs> I think she had so much fun today. By the way, thank you so much for spending your precious time for today's date.
Sorry if Marie's presence bothered you. No, no, it was my pleasure. I had a great time too, so don't worry about that. It was also a great experience for me. What do you mean by great experience? My parents died in an accident when I was a child. Growing up, I was raised by my relatives, and since I went from one to another, I didn't have the chance to experience going out with family members. Oh, sorry to hear that you've been through that. Don't worry about that. I was the one who brought up that gloomy conversation. Honestly, I feel so happy that I'm able to experience what it's like to go out with family members even though you and Mary are not my family members. Somehow, I can tell that Luna looks sad when she says that. Let's go together next time. We can have a picnic, camping, traveling, anything will do. I'm not sure whether I can make good company for you, but I want you to experience what ordinary families do. That sounds fun. I look forward to experiencing them. After that, I went on several dates with Luna, and our relationship grew deeper. However, Luna's response to my confession remained vague. One day, I was thinking about confessing my feelings to her once again. Hi, Luna. What's wrong? You look sad somehow. Oh, hi, Ken. She's been showing me that gloomy face very often recently. Are you worried about something, Luna? Is there anything I can do to help you with? Well, actually... So, your student's dad keeps pestering you nowadays, isn't he? Yes, I just don't know how to deal with him. Somehow she always managed to refuse the offer, but to be honest, she seemed to be mentally exhausted this time. Even though that person can't help but fall in love with Luna, it's still unforgivable for a man to be so persistent in bothering another person like that. I understood your circumstances. Is he still here? No, he went home already. Let me tell him not to bother you again. Uh, are you sure about that? I don't want to get you involved in my problem. I'm happy to help you. After all, that man is being too persistent for my likings. Th thank you so much, Kent. You're welcome. Uncle Kent and Luna are acting lovey-dovey again. No, we're not. The next day, I went to pick Marie up a little earlier than usual, and I found a flirtatious-looking guy standing in front of Luna. Hey, babe, I've been inviting you several times for a date, so you shouldn't refuse anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in starting a relationship with you. I have no doubt that he's the guy who annoys Luna. I should protect Luna by fighting him. Don't bully Luna. M Mary? What's wrong with this kid? Get lost. N no Stay away from Luna. Gosh, Mary. Mary is usually a bit cocky for her age. But I realized for the first time that she is growing up day by day. I just didn't notice it. Mary starts to look just like my elder sister. Stay away from this kid. If you don't listen to me, I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> n no Are you gonna cry? What a helpless child. I'll punch your parents instead when I meet them. Do you dare to punch me? Huh? Who the heck are you? I said, are you going to punch me? How dare you make my niece cry? Well, I just... Um... Luna is troubled because of the way you act. Are you too stupid to even notice that? Huh? Tell me! Yikes! I, I'm sorry, please forgive me! Don't you ever come back! Kent, are you right? Please, don't get me wrong. That wasn't the real me, I swear. Damn. I just lost control of myself. You know what, Luna? Kent was a badass delinquent in the past. How did you find out about that? No, it's not like that. This isn't good. If Luna knows that I was a delinquent, she'll hate me and leave me. Kent, can I tell you something? S sure, why not? Thank you so much for helping me back there. You were really awesome. Never mind about that. I'm glad that you're safe. Ken, I'm sure that you'll protect me at all cost. Huh? What are you talking about? By the way, I didn't give you a proper reply to your love confession, did I? If you don't mind, I'd like to be your girlfriend. Oh, 
dear Lord. Ken, are you listening to me? Earth calling Uncle Ken. Ken, are you here? Uh, oh yes, sorry about that. I didn't expect that you would say that. I was so surprised that I lost my words. Of course, I'd like you to be my girlfriend. Yay! Thanks, Ken. This is how I ended up going out with Luna. I thought the relationship would change drastically, but very little has changed since then. Sorry that my room is a mess. Please come in. Uh, excuse me, madam? Madam, are you okay? I I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous like that. This is my first time entering a woman's house, so there's no way I could have stayed calm. I think I should calm myself down. The sea... Isn't that lovely? I've never gone to the sea even though I'm a swimming coach. Are you serious about that? Why don't we go to visit the sea next time? It's summer anyway. Visiting the sea with Luna means that I'll be able to see her in a bikini. Shoot! What the heck am I thinking about? By the way, Mary told me that you can't swim. Is that right? Yeah, she's right. I know, it's so embarrassing. Well then, it's your chance. I'll teach you how to swim as well as other things. But what do you mean by other things? Please, stop making fun of me. I'll leave it to your imagination. <laughs> My relationship with Luna has only just begun. Recently, I have been receiving more work orders, and my monthly income has doubled from my previous one due to that. As of now, I'm secretly saving up for a future with Luna, and I've vowed to spend the rest of my life making her happy. Thank you for watching again! It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together! Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video! See you next time! Bye!